is Summer Harvest 101, Sweet Flavorful Corn. Aaron Sanchez, star of the new Food Network program, Chefs vs. the City, is here with some kernels of truth. <laughs> well, let me tell you, corn, Harry, is one of my favorite ingredients in the summertime. I know. It's all about corn and tomatoes, right? So, I just couldn't agree with you more. So just a couple quick tips on how to actually buy and what to look for when mm -hmm. you're shopping for mm -hmm. corn. You kind of want to make sure that it's plump and it's firm right. and it has enough of these uh, outer, outer husks that are intact. Right. Can you, can because if you're looking at a big table full, exactly. this one versus this one, this is a little thinner, this is this a little is thicker, a little you want to exactly. go with that, right? And once you peel it, mm -hmm. you don't want to look for something like this. It's a little bit shabby. You want right. something a little bit more robust, a little bit where the kernels are kind of intact. Mm -hmm. Once you cook this, you can actually cut it off the cob and store it in your freezer for up to six months. It's, it's, Easy. it's great. Yeah, yeah, nothing to it. Yeah, and then just to kind of get going, you got to brush it mm -hmm. and then on the grill. All right, and here's my question though. Can I show you, before we go yeah, to sure. grilling corn, mm -hmm. if you're going to uh, cook corn, so some people cook it like forever, I say blanch. That's a good a idea. Minute, maybe a minute, yeah. but that's it. Yeah. And the reason you do this is because you want to expedite the process and right. kind of cook it and bring out some of that natural sugar. There you go. All right, so, so what are we going to do here? So once we brush it with some oil, right. we actually put it on the grill. And this mm. is about five minutes on each side. Right. And this really helps to give you that charred corn flavor, and it really brings out the sugar and the sweetness. Oh, my God. So I've actually taken it off the cob, mm -hmm. just real soft. If you have a chance, just to really just work it down. I don't recommend standing it up. Yeah. Just take your knife and run it down each side. Sure. And that's what I've done over here. And then just to kind of finish up the salsa. So what'd you make? I've actually had some red onions, and I've tempered it just with a little bit of red wine vinegar oh, yeah. to actually take off some of that raw red onion that's flavor. That's working. That's we're working. Gonna, we're going to add that to our bowl. Okay, that works. And then a little bit of cilantro. you got to have the cilantro. A little bit of fresh basil. Mm -hmm. Some roasted tomato. Oh, look at and that. And this is actually this after it's been diced up. And then I just season it with some salt and pepper. You can stir that for me. And then mm. once mm. you have that, you can let this sort of sit and marinate for up to a couple of hours. And this is great with grilled fish, chicken, Ugh. steak, just about that. anything. It looks so perfect. And over here I have a couple okay, other so examples. What is, what is this guy? This is arepas, which are Venezuelan corn cakes. Mm. I have some tamales over here. And I've actually have a couple samples. So you have any friends that you want to invite over so we can sample some of this good hey, stuff? Hey, friends, do we have any friends? <laughs> Excuse me, Lonnie, do we have any friends who want to help us sample the uh, you know, food here? What I was doing, I was looking for my lifts. Mm, yeah, all right. Well, hey, how are you guys? Yeah. Welcome. Uh, uh, come on in here, uh, my new friends. <laughs> Poor Lonnie's the yeah. shortest person up here. Really, oh, what really, are we eating, guys? <laughs> is there anything Jeez. better than tamales? No. Huh? Yes, I got a couple of them over here. Hang on one second. What is that? What is the other thing? Tamales corn. These are all sort of utilizing oh, corn, good. and this is an arepa, oh. so this is just, you can actually pick this up with your hand if you want. There you go. Is there anything like this, this oh, arepa okay. is from uh, Venezuela? Yeah. Is there anything like this in Brazil? Mm, no. We have, we have on the north, like where I'm yeah. from, we uh -huh. have a lot of things from Brazil, though it's it's made with corn. It's made, made with corn? Yeah, it's yeah, delicious. Yeah. Pamoya. Pamoya, Pamoya This is from the north and from south, so it's different. Like two different yeah. things? Yeah. Two I don't know how to say it in English, but it's delicious. So.